Shaming children so that their parents will pay their school lunch bill. It's been seen all across the country, and now lunch shaming has come under fire. The Now KC's Mackenzie Nelson takes a closer look at how some local school districts are handling student meal debts. You may have seen or heard of it happening, school lunch shaming, holding children publicly accountable for unpaid school lunch bills by throwing away their meal, providing an alternative lunch, or even branding them with lunch money stamps. You're not going to see that at Sarah School District. The recent outrage now has public school districts across the country rethinking how they cope with unpaid student lunch debts. The center school district is just one where shaming won't be tolerated. The nature of what we believe in and, and what we do to serve kids uh, we're not going to turn students away or throw lunches away. The U.S. Agriculture Department is encouraging schools to work more closely with parents to address delinquent accounts. It's phone calls typically proactively calling them and, and telling them what the situation is on the lunch accounts. Around 75 percent of students in the center school district are on free or reduced lunches, but still the district was seeing negative lunch accounts. If they reach a threshold where they have some debt, um, we're still letting them have hot meals. In order to do this, they created the Care for Center Fund. This fund has really helped pick up um, that need to help support kids in that way. Faculty, staff, and community members are donating to the fund to pay for any student lunch debt at the end of the year. Rachel says the debt is typically a couple thousand dollars. We want kids to feel like this is a safe environment. It's a place where they can be who they are, and we will take care of them in whatever fashion we need to, and that also includes taking care of them in regards to lunch money. In Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Mackenzie Nelson, The Now KC. And right now, the Center School District is working to receive the Breakfast in the Classroom grant. This would allow their schools to provide a grab-and-go breakfast to students on their way to first period. School lunch policies across the metro, they vary when it comes to all-meal debts. You can find more details on our website, kshb.com.